next problem of our programming in C lab, uh, PCD lab is the problem number 5, draw the flow chart and write a C program to compute sin of x using Tyler series approximation given by the equation sin of x is equal to x minus x to the power of 3 divided by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 divided by 5 factorial minus x to the power of 7 divided by 7 factorial plus uh, follows. So, the compare the results with a built in library function, print both the results with appropriate messages. Okay. So, you should very carefully see and this is another mathematical uh, oriented problem given to us to write a C program. Okay. So, here you should uh, see what is the value of sin of x is in uh, using the Tyler series is there is an going to be an x, there is always x minus plus minus plus, right. So, x minus x to the power of 3 by 3 factorial. So, previously it is minus. So, the x to the power of 5 is plus and x to the 7 is minus x to the power of 9 is going to be plus 11 so on for all values of x. So, we need to write a C code to uh, to compute uh, uh, sin x. So, this is the uh, you need to understand few stuff here. Uh, there are many ways of doing your faculties uh, or in your college they might have taken a diff slightly different route. So, this is one of the route. But the core logic remains the same when which uh, uh, what we do is when we read the uh, let me quickly go through the flow chart, we read the value of x. So, so, it is the only one parameter then x is, is given in the radian uh, degree format. So, we need to convert it. So, the x is multiplied by x to the power of uh, x into pi, pi is 3.141592 divided by 180, you convert and then initialize the value of uh, sum and for the, there are many other ways, but one of the simplest what I got, uh, I'm proposing here is we could run this uh, x to the power of 3, x to the power of 5, 7 to the level where in which the temp value becomes very very small number okay so there is there is a uh, flt epsilon is a very small number the describing is the minimum positive number such that 1 plus this uh, is epsilon is not equal to 1 so it's a very smallest uh, floating value parameter okay so but you should see here the negative value is what I am using here is just to get minus plus minus plus plus alternatively sum is used to compute the sum. So, the uh, 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 because it is initialized with minus the first value of x is plus. So, I am multiplying negate by minus 1 so that it becomes plus and the temp, temp is the power of x to the power of whatever here is i which is going from 1 to i plus plus there is no intentionally though check because we have a break here. Okay. So, we want to run this to a sufficiently we do not know how long till we get a very small fractional uh, part okay. to a finite degree of uh, precision we want to run this. So, the simple is the temp is the if you see the what we want is there is no uh, x which is 1, 3, 5, 7, right. So, there is no 2, 4, that is why intentionally to get 1, 3, 5, 7 for every number if you multiply by 2 you will get an even number and subtracting 1 is always an odd. So, if you see if i is equal to 1, 2 into 1 minus 1 is 1, I mean i is equal to 2 it is 4 minus 1 i is equal to 3, 6 minus 1. So, it becomes 3, i, I is equal to 2, 4 minus 1, 3, 
3 is 6 minus 1, 5, 7 is 8 minus 1. So that's why intentionally the temp is the pow. Because I'm using pow, I have to use a right uh, hash uh, include file at the top. So uh, I would use math or stdlib. Uh, so, 2 to the power of uh, 2, uh, the pow which gives is a standard library which gives the uh, the power of this variable whatever we want x to. So, it will create a give us an output of x to the power of 2 into i minus 1 and I have written a factorial function which will give us a 3 factorial or 5 factorial. So, I am passing 2 into i minus 1. So, we get a temp. As long as temp, if it is less than the smallest possible f uh, floating value, uh, we would break or else we are going to add it uh, sum uh, to sum and the total value is going to be negative. Okay? So, because it, its temp is intentionally is, is to the x to the power of 3 divided by 3 factorial it's going to become negative positive, negative positive. That's why we are negating here and getting the next loop is going to be the negate minus 1. So, it's going to toggle between plus and minus, plus and minus. So, these are the core three, six lines of code is what you need to remember. Although the sign is a big statement, there is a long running series of x to the power of 3 by 3 factorial stuff like that. But what you need is just this uh, uh, six, seven lines is the core algorithm. So, always you will have a scanf which will read the parameter, print is another two, three line, the core algorithm is just this. Okay. So, this is a pseudo code uh, or the code what we have written. So, intentionally just to introduce, uh, uh, I have added a, a, a fact as a subroutine. So, which is defined first, the fact is the factorial which takes int uh, as an int and then uh, fact is initialized with 1 and as long as while x is not equal to 0, we will multiply the factorial with this number and decrement. So, if it is a 5 factorial, we take x is 5 initialized with fact is 1, 5 is multiplied in with 5, next x minus 1, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is the factorial and returns the value because this loop will exit if uh, as long as x is greater, not equal to 0. So, as long as x, x becomes 0, we won't do anything, we will return it. So, if, in, if I pass fact to 3, it will give me 3 factorial. If I pass fact to 5, it will give me 5 factorial. So, this is something you should uh, try uh, uh, be comfortable adding more functions into the uh, 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 code and uh, so this is the my main function which has a float of x I am taking input as x uh, and then sum negate and temp. So, the, this is just what I have marked is red is the core algorithm this is what you need to remember. So, enter the value in degrees. So, the user would give 0, 30 degree, 45 degree, 180, 90 kind of a thing and we read that we convert, uh, we have to convert internally to x is x to the x into pi by 180, okay, x into 3.141592 divided by 180 and negate is started with minus 1. So, the simple check is we it is intentionally minus uh, done uh, so that the first x value is positive. So, the temp is going to be the x to the power of 2, two, two into i minus 1 divided by factorial of 2 into i minus 1. So, basically we each of these for while loop is computing one of these x to the power of 3 by 3 factorial this is what you are doing. So, if for when i is equal to 1 it is going to be x 2 to the power of uh, 2 into 1, 2 minus 1. So, x, x to the power of 1 is x. Factorial of 2, uh, this 1 is 1. So, we, we got x here. In the next loop, we get x to the power of 3 divided by 3 factorial. Next one is x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial. 
till we we get a temp value which is significantly of smaller uh, precision and every time we add sum to the sum plus temp uh, temp into negate so the reason is we have to minus x to the power of uh, 3 by 3 factorial but add here next is negative add uh, the temp is exactly doing that and we just print this so here intentionally using library function of sin of x we have printed sin of x what is the same we have created is the uh, uh, sum value okay so let's quickly go to the program and uh, close open so this uh, the the fact function is above this is the first so that is why there is no you don't need to declare anything uh, at the top because anyway the main function when it comes here when it gets to know the fact already it knows it is compiled it's taken in it knows where to take it so um, intentionally because of uh, uh, sign and other stuff we, we have include mat.h and uh, float is for the f FLT epsilon uh, we are using. So the, uh, I've seen many people use different other forms, but uh, this is gives me a better precision. That's why we are using this, and I en encourage you people to use the same. So the fact uh, factorial is as I defined. Uh, there's a one and if you pass 3 it will give you 3 factorial that is because of here the x is multiplied here with the x minus minus so 3 into 2 into uh, 1 and return if it is 5 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and return that's what factor return and we are reading a float that's why it's percentage f and ampersand of x because float scanf needs an address if I just give this, this is an error you should be careful okay so if I try to compile let me see if I can compile it took but it's a very it will be an invalid one so uh, this is the right thing so we read it and x is converted from degree to uh, uh, x to the power into pi divided by 180 and sum is 0 so neg negate is just giving every while loop 0 and 1 and you can intentionally intentionally we have given no condition here I, I just it's an uh, it's just a, a comment which takes but this is a valid statement in C I intentionally I will tell you run infinitely till I break inside the for loop okay so this is a typical example why you don't you don't know what is the check okay so uh, intentionally so you should be comfortable with this so I started with I and power of temp is a power of x to the power of first x it's x then x to the power of 3 divided by 3 factorial then x to the power of 5 divided by 5 factorial that's what it is adding to the sum okay so the sum is what we are giving and once it's of a lowest precision automatically break would do it so i checked a checked it here within to the x to the power of 7 3 to 4 for for loop we come out okay at least for a, a decently different number i gave so it's not uh, a long within 3 for loop iteration or 4 we would be out of this for loop and then using library function I am giving a sign of x for the same value and the second one is the sum using our we computed this is the sum okay so here you should be careful I am passing the sign of x which is a computed value okay? that's what the sign x also takes okay in the radian format so I saved let me compile no errors and run okay so whether you have written it correctly or not you can know by giving a 90 degree so the sin x of 90 degree is 1 
1.000, whereas what we computed is is almost uh, to the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, almost 4 uh, to the point it is close. Okay. So, uh, this is what uh, giving us a uh, comparison between the synex given by the uh, standard library to what we have coded. Right. So, this is what, uh, so we could run a different value say 180 degree. Right. So, this is still again a close approximation to the sign series. With a, so, what in written in the code could be very optimized sometime machine optimized, so it, it always gives a better results. So, the next one is if it is 0, it is 0. So, this is the different value for uh, our function, compute the sign of x, okay. window close all find x. So, sin of x, is, this is the equation and this is how we computed and we demonstrated that our value is very close to the sin of x of the standard library. Thank you.